Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Gold Rush. Here we are back at the Nighthawk claim. Uh, I think everything's set up, ready to go. Um, I have moved our digger. Well, I've decided to do something a little bit different. Um, well, not a little bit different, but move our digger and um, dig a different way to what we are now. I think what we're doing now is just an absolute waste of time at the moment. Um, probably for you guys and for me, to be honest. So, I'll head down and I'll show you what we're doing at the moment. So that was 100%. The mats and all that are 0%. So we need to jump in these things and um, get the conveyors running. So one there, another one here. And you'll notice that our digger is no longer there. And neither is our dozer. So we have moved, as I said. Make sure everything's up and running. So they're going to fill each other up. Go down and see this one down here. See, we've got the dozer up the top, we've got the digger down the bottom here, and we've got another Frankenstein in this level bench, which I spent a fair bit of time leveling this out, just to make it um, easier for us to use. There we go. See, I pushed all this dirt out here, made a level, and um, just starting to dig down to the pay dirt now, down to the much better pay, I think. Where are we? 385. Oops. Go gold map and toggle square. Yeah, so we're digging down through here at the moment. Uh, where are we? There we are. So obviously I don't want to dig too deep because we're going to have to move the, the digger out of the way at the moment. Oh, eventually. And um, bring in um, the dozer to level it out. I just want to go through at this level all the way to the back and then dig from the back to the front. Try and get down to that pay dirt a little bit quicker than what we would if we were going to do it the other way like we were before because that's um that's not a bad idea it's just going to take us a long bloody time to get there to be honest so I figured we might as well change things up and hopefully be able to get through it a little bit quicker doing it this way hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far um as I've said before I think I said it in the last video um we're going to release a Gold Rush episode every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So make sure you um, keep an eye out for it. Make sure you use like a Google um, time zone conversion if you're unsure of what that time is in your local area. And um, we'll continue to run this series up until the stage where there's really not much else we can do. And then we might put the series on hold for a little while until. Maybe there's some new DLC or some new updates which improve the game a fair bit, but at the moment, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still trying to get down to some really good pay dirt to show you guys um, how much money we can really make. But I'm not sure, there's no. Um, nothing that's come out at the moment on any new DLC that might be on the way, so I've been kept in the dark just as much as you guys are. Um, and I do know it's going to come out on the consoles at some stage. They got enough money on the Kickstarter program to release it on consoles. I have no idea when that's going to be. Um, they said they were going to do it and I really hope they stick to their word because there's a lot of people out there that can't afford a decent enough computer to run the game. The game is pretty you know, PC intensive. If you don't have a good computer you're probably going to struggle to run the game. So, and A lot of people have consoles. So I really hope they do stick to their word and um, actually make it. Um, a lot of people have also complained and said, oh, you know, Discovery Channel is paying you to make this game. You know, why is it taking so long for console version and all that stuff? Um, I can see you guys now, the creators of Gold Rush are not receiving any money from the Discovery Channel. They have actually had to pay the Discovery Channel money to be able to use the Discovery Channel logo and name and the Gold Rush name as well so those people that think that's the creators of this game are making a lot of money from the Discovery Channel it's completely untrue so they're making absolutely nothing from the Discovery Channel which is unfortunate but um, it is what it is I really hope the Discovery Channel would actually get behind a game like this and even more games create more games that of TV shows that are on the Discovery Channel. There's a lot of other games on the Discovery Channel. They, a lot of other shows on the Discovery Channel they could turn into games, I reckon. 
So the Discovery Channel should really, in my opinion, get behind the gaming industry. And also gamers such as myself because there's going to be a huge market for games. Like I know um, Gold Rush obviously has a huge following. Deadliest Catch would have a huge following if they brought the game out. They did have a game a long, long time ago, but it's fairly old and it's no longer available to buy anywhere. Um, you can possibly get it as a torrent, download it illegally, which I don't like doing, but when you can't get it anywhere else, you know, what can you do? I have played it before, but I don't have it any longer. It was on an old computer of mine, so it's unfortunate. But um, Fishing Barren Sea comes out tonight, so this recording is being done on a Wednesday, so Fishing Barren Sea will be out tonight. Um, there is a rumours coming through that it will have crab fishing available at some stage. So I really hope that they follow through with that as well, because that would be awesome to have crab fishing. Um, as far as anything else on the Discovery Channel, like I'm in Australia, I don't watch a lot of Discovery Channel stuff, but I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff that is on the Discovery Channel that they could turn into the game. So I really hope Discovery Channel gets behind the gaming industry. There's really lots of places out there that should really get behind the gaming industry because it's growing so quick, especially with esports and um, all that sort of stuff. You know, gaming is just obviously going nuts, and not just in a particular country. Like worldwide, gaming is going absolutely crazy. All right, I think we're going to have to put this into here and move ourselves back and probably get the dozer down into here now. Shut that down. So we're going to have to run around here and bring the dozer down somewhere. I think I had to drive it all the way over there last time. Getting back in here to clean this up. We're probably going to have to move this Frankenstein at the rear as well. So you can see I've done a fair bit of work here trying to push through a level area to get to there. But a little bit of a struggle so sort of gave up on it. Still don't really know what these rear teeth are for. I mean, I know it changes what the ground looks like behind you, but I don't know if it makes any difference. Whether it makes it easier to dig or I don't know. Not really sure what the reasoning behind that is. So we'll see, head up here and level this stuff out. Should probably shut down this Frankenstein as well as soon as we get into position, otherwise, we're going to waste a lot of fuel. So, let's turn this dozer around. Put it on the ground, and then I just press up, uh, press up once, just a little bit, just to try and get it off the ground to try and make sure we get um, level. How full is that one? That one's still a little bit full, so we'll jump in here. Turn the conveyor off. We'll leave that one on for a little while because it's still got a little bit to go. Let's jump back in our dozer. Park break off, of course, that might help. Push all this through. Try and stay inside the square. I don't want to go too far out of it. We can avoid it. Grabbing too much from that other square to our left or right there. It's probably a lot easier to go level if you're using the um, loader, but as you guys seen from the last episode, oh, I absolutely suck at using the loader, so <laughs> I'm not going to bother using it. So you can see, that's pretty much all I did was just push this out a little bit to try and clear this stuff out of the way go forward, we're going to have to go up and have a look and see how much dirt we've got in our mats of course I think it still seems to me like um, the dozer's deleting dirt as well so oh, I really don't know a lot of people have been complaining about it on the Facebook group about it deleting dirt still which to me it looks like it is maybe it's not but visually it looks like it is so 
have to be for the devs to come back and let us know whether it is or it isn't. Oh, shut him down, I'm going to lift the blade up. Jump back out. That one's empty, so we'll jump in and shut this one down as well. Shut him down. How's this one going? Still 34%, so... Not too bad at all. Not too shabby at all. Let's move the digger back down and get him ready to start digging again. Try and make sure that we don't um try and make sure we leave enough room to our left. So when we happen to spin around we don't go hitting anything. Let's move back to oh, maybe the start of that square, there we go. So the bucket's as far forward as it can go. So what we'll do is so just try and just grab little bits at a time, not go grabbing too much. Swing this around to say here somewhere. Oops, wrong button. Uh, there we go, shut it down. We have to move this Frankenstein back a fair way. Um, and then get him lined up again. Hopefully we've got enough room. Uh, conveyor. Oh no, it's as far as it goes, is it? Oh no. There we go. Let's... How are we going for... It's a little bit... A little bit annoying to try and work out where we need it to be. Out there somewhere. Number four, whereabouts are we at the front here? About there. See how that goes with where we are. That could be okay. We might have to move the digger a little bit, but obviously, we're gonna have to get another Frankenstein in here, I think. Yeah, that should be okay. We should be able to get away with it. Grab as much as we can and try and get it up to 10% so we're not dropping any on the ground. There we go, perfect. Alright, we'll shut him down again. So that's all lined up, ready to go. So we can lower that arsen down a little bit if we need to and lift the front end up, but we don't really need to, I don't think, at the moment. It's all lined up pretty good. Um, is that empty? Yeah, it should be. Shut that down. How's this going? Yeah, already up to 68%. Why is that one? Oh. How did that come out of there? Oh, well. It's a bit frustrating, but it happens. Let's head back up, shut this bad boy down. Shut this one down as well. We might quickly try and fast travel. There we go. Fast travel a little bit. We thought we usually fill this one up to 100%, move that to this one, and then forward, 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 and get it all ready to go. So I want to dig as much as we can, but we want to, want to try not to take too much initially. Otherwise, it, as you can see there, it goes on the ground a little bit. But we'll, we'll get there. It's a terrible bucket, only 14%. There we go, that's better. I'm not sure if you guys have been watching um, like the current season of Gold Rush, but I've been watching it and enjoying it. 
Um, Parker's just about to hit 5,000 ounces last episode I've seen. So it's doing really, really well. And then the 316 mining is just um, really struggling to get any sort of gold. So it's been a um, pretty bad season for them. And obviously, um, I'm pretty bad with names for people on the show. But um, the Big Dredge has been going okay. Like they're getting plenty of gold when it's actually running. And then um, struggling to get the other dredge dismantled and brought back over to get that one digging for gold as well. But you know, it's been interesting, very interesting season. I'm glad I found somewhere where I could actually watch it for free. So if you guys haven't got pay TV or can't afford pay TV, need somewhere to watch it, check out Streamio, S T R E M I O, Streamio. And um, just download that. It's a free download, and then you just need to download extensions to get certain episodes and stuff. But um, it's all free, so it just uses your internet downloads. But you need a pretty good speed internet, otherwise it's going to be pretty slow. But you can watch pretty much anything you can think of. You type it in, and if something's available, you can watch it and watch it for free, which is great. So we'll just get this guy up to 100%, and then... Get him into loading the other one in front, the other Frankenstein. Just took way too much of a bite then. We've still got over a million dollars. We've still got like two million dollars worth of gold um, sitting in our shed. Or our little green tent, I should say. It's two big gold bars and they're worth a million dollars each. 103 ounces at the moment, which I think about 60 ounces of that, 70 ounces of that is from what we've dug out um, and I've pretty much got off camera. Um, and the workers are still been working away and getting a little bit of gold. As you can see, it's increasing there a little bit, but they're not getting a lot, but every little bit helps. But not see a thing there. Another big chunk out of there. Still getting full buckets, that's the main thing. So we're probably going to dig right to the back, or at least to a level coming out the back, and then go from uh, the back to the front, or at least even just dig. Oh, that's a terrible bucket. At least just dig this really rich spot as deep as we can and see how much money we can make out of it. It's going to be pretty good clean out once we get all the way down to the bottom where we're getting, you know, six, seven ounces. Come on. There you go. It'd be good if you could actually dig through the dirt, if you know what I mean. Like, instead of once a bucket's full, it stops. It actually digs the dirt and moves the dirt to the side. So when we dig here, like the bucket's full now, it should continue to move towards us, but move the dirt out of the way, if you know what I mean. Like it would in real life. But it's probably one of those things that me not being a game developer probably doesn't under I don't understand how difficult that would bloody be, I suppose. So there we go, this Frank is nearly a hundred percent. Grab another full bucket and bring it back. We won't tip it in just yet, but we'll get it ready for the next time we want to tip it in. Right, there you go. Shut him down and we'll start this Frankenstein up. Oh, we want the conveyor. There we go. So I usually don't continue to load it while we're loading that other conveyor, but we should be okay, I think. We're not going to overfill it. If we do, it won't be by too much anyway, so... So I've got the loader parked over there out of the way, I'm just <laughs> not going to bloody use it. I absolutely suck at using that thing. 
the dump truck's still sitting there, so that's another thing we could probably get rid of. We'll probably actually move it back to our um, original claim, the old Arnold claim, and maybe set up a tier 3 set up there as well and buy some workers to dig that out while we're doing work over here. There's also reports of um, the new update allowing us to see the workers actually working in other vehicles. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, it is only a rumour. It's been said on the Facebook group for the Gold Rush the game, so I'm not 100% sure. Anything that's said on social media you need to take with a grain of salt, I suppose. It's a lot of lies and false stuff that gets put on there, so don't take everything as you know gospel or 100% truth. Not doing too bad, actually. Let's um turn the camera this way. I can't really see how full that other thing is, but I want to be able to make sure I'm not over digging to the right here. Don't even think we got a full bucket that time. So I'm getting full buckets at all. I have to go back the other way. If they got a full bucket there, I don't think I was getting them before. I'm going to shut this down and run through to that other Frankenstein now because I'm thinking it's probably going to be near 100%. Look at that, perfect timing, 93%. Turn him on. Oop, let him run for a little while and then um, we'll start the other one as well. So we keep digging down through here and see how we go. I'm not sure. Let's go back in actually. Go gold map. Uh, what square are we at? 385? No, it's the one before that. 384. So we've got pretty much nothing here until we hit about 4 metres. So look at that 6.71 ounce per metre cubed. Once we get down to that level, pay dirt, it's going to be great. So we're probably pretty much getting nothing at the moment, but... I'd like to have something that allows us to know how deep we actually are from where the drill point was. So we know if we're through that you know, top four metres of just terrible pay dirt and down to actually good gold yet. And I know we wouldn't be yet, because we're only probably only two metres down if we're lucky. So I think we're going to have to start taking the top off it now. Fuel is low, yep. Doesn't take long to burn through the bloody fuel in this thing. I wish the swing speed was a little bit quicker. I think you know, the bucket speed and the arm speed's not too bad, but the swing speed I wish was a little bit quicker. Shut him down again. Jump out. It's only 72%, but that's fine. We'll jump in here and start it up. And start everything up up here as well. 
I don't know if we get a notification when the um, mats are 100% or not. I don't think we do. Which I think would be another great addition if they could do that. That way we know we're overfilling the mats. have to come through at night time and um, refuel everything once we get through this episode. Probably just do another clean out and call it another episode I think. Already been going for yeah 26 minutes or so. So we'll dig for probably another couple of minutes and I'll go and check the mats and stuff. I don't want to let them go too far and potentially be throwing gold on the ground. Let's try and get a lot of this front part dug out if we can. Seems like it's not taking too long to get through it, which is pretty good. Workers are still working away, bringing some gold in for us. Well, I said there's been nothing from the developers yet on any rumours about anything that's coming in the next update anything like that so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what um, they decide to do so I'd like them to increase the speed of the excavator turning around and also increase the bucket size just to help us get through this dirt a little bit quicker because you see how big the claims are if you're gonna dig this claim out it's just gonna take you forever like if you wanted to go from old Arnold dig that out completely then go through the two other claims and get to Nighthawk you know probably take you a whole bloody year of getting through everything so I really need to increase the amount of dirt we're moving we're not far off getting it out of the way now pretty good happy if we get it all down to that level in front of us and we'll be able to um, continue to get deeper behind it and of course get the dozer in there as well and he can level it out and do his thing Not sure why we're dropping dirt on the ground then everything was closed so a couple more buckets I think and then we'll go and check our mats there you go drop this bucket in and then we'll yeah, shut him down another fast travel what are we up to 89% so I won't be far off I reckon once all this goes through it'll nearly be full do another clean out and see what we get this time hopefully it's a little bit better because we're digging different area than down here so it's We've moved a lot of body dirt out of here to get to here and then I thought we might as well go from there 
and go backwards if we need to. Well, that's the last of it, so once that's hit the belt, we'll shut it down. Another auto save. Keep a close eye on it and try not to waste too much fuel. So because that was 100% the conveyor and these three Frankensteins, that's got us to what, 69% or something I think it was? Or 70%, so that's pretty good then to get these all to 100% again and feed them straight in. Hopefully we'll get us to 100% in the mats or close enough to. Oh, shut that one down as well. It's definitely not going to be far off. Yeah, 98 to 97, so pretty bloody close. Really only got what's um, coming through now, so like I said, not much left. It's bloody perfect. Absolutely perfect. Trying to think of how we can move these conveyors around a little bit. We're going to have to buy another one to stretch right down the back there. So a few mats are at 100%, the other ones are still at 99 so nearly perfect. There's no more dirt getting thrown in there. But he's still going up. It's bloody loud up here. I have to start yelling at you, I think. And that's pretty much done. So we'll oh, shut this down. Right up here, shut that down as well. There we go. So run back down here and break our legs. Chuck all these in the back of the truck. Thank God we don't have to worry about them falling over, otherwise it would lose so much bloody dirt, it's not funny, and gold. I think one of these I've already dunked one in, because I did clean all these mats out, and then I came back and put them back in, and one was still at 100% for some strange reason. I'm not sure if it didn't clean out, or if it was a glitch, I don't know, but um, yeah, it was weird. I'll just grab all the mats and throw them on the ground. Makes it a little bit easier. Again, okay, I guess you could probably just bloody bring a bucket up here if you wanted to. Might do that on the other side, I think. Be a little bit easier. And then I'll always dunk it and then run back up, chuck it straight back in. Makes it easier so you know which ones you've dunked and which ones you haven't. I think we're going to have to get another bucket, because I think one of them has an extra scoop in it, or an extra mat washed in it. It'll be that bucket. Bet you any money, it'll be that bucket. Oops, there we go. Oops. Yep, thought so. Ugh. Go and get another bucket. Can't afford to leave any gold in the mats, otherwise we're just going to waste it, pretty much. Uh, this bucket, there we go. Oops, where did the other one go? I hate it when we always drop the body things. Alright, so that one's full. Chuck him in there. Let's quickly run up and grab another bucket. We should have heaps um, up here. In Yep, in the back of our trailer. Oops, can we get him out? Don't think he wants to go anywhere. Come on, bucket! 
There we go. Throw him over there. Start this up again quickly. Grab the hose. Fill him up. Shut him down again and take this bad boy back down or fill him up. Oh, I thought we were going to miss then. Start from one end and work our way to the other. It's much easier bringing the bucket up here. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, but anyway. Some people are really smart. Others, like me, aren't overly smart. We go chuck this one in the back of the truck as well. Uh, is that the one? Is that full? I can't remember if that's full or not. Mustn't be if I haven't chucked it in the back of the truck yet. Probably only going to take one more mat, and that'll be it, I think. Oops, where did you go? There. Come on, don't get stuck in there. Might as well just dunk him into there while we're down here. And stick him back in there. There we go. Oh, uh, whoops. Luckily we don't have to climb back up with that one in our hands. There we go, stick that in there. It's all of us done, I'll jump in our truck and... Take him up. I think still buddy struggles up the hill for some reason. It's not like it's towing a lot of weight. Ah, uh, so it's bloody cables. And then I get here and something else stops us. Got no idea what it is, to be honest. So that's a cable behind us now that's stopping us. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. Whatever, stay there then. Be an asshole. Righto, we'll start the wave table up. Start up our water as well. There's something there that keeps I keep running into, which is stopping us as well. We've got 105 ounces. Chuck a bucket over there because we're going to fill it up with water. Try and get all these out of the truck. Ah, oh, so hoping I didn't throw it all the way down there. Oh, and again. <laughs> so it was nearly 10 ounces, so 9 ounces, a little bit less than 9 ounces, so not a great amount, but. There's even that down there. How did that go down here? To, there's two of them down here. There you go. No, thank you. Stay up there. Nah, bloody bugger. So that one looks like it's bloody empty. It might have been the um. One that only had like 30% in it or something. Alright, chuck that in. Try and grab this bucket before we lose it again. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that was one with 30% in it. This one's going to have next to nothing in it. Let's take this over here and get the other way. Start filling these guys up with water. Oh, keep getting stuck on everything. Yeah, get that out of the way. Actually, Lily's on the bloody ground because. I'm gonna have to reset the ute anyway, reset the truck out of the way. Let's grab that, let's go into our map. Where are we? Up here. Uh, the truck, we'll restore that, and we'll restore that as well. Which drops that out of the back of it, so we'll throw that out of there out of the way. 30 ounces so far, so not a great clean out, but. Not bad. Once we get down to that good pay dirt, it's going to be a bloody awesome clean out. So I haven't done much over here. It's all set up ready to go, but that's where our workers working at the moment. Over here is our truck. Here it is. No, it's supposed to be here somewhere. Oh, come on, get out of the way. Where is our truck? Why? It... Hmm. Okay. Never mind. I'll sort that out off camera and get all this stuff set back up and ready to go for the next episode. If you guys liked it, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the idea about us moving down here instead of digging that way. Is that a better idea or not? Um, if you haven't subscribed yet guys, please do so, hit that subscribe button, that way you don't miss an episode of our Gold Rush Let's Play series, and also a few other things we've got on the channel at the moment, Motorsport Manager, Wreckfest, Medieval Engineers, Fishing, Barrent Sea, um, House Flipper as well, all that stuff is coming to the channel on a weekly basis, so it's been Brito's Gaming, thanks for watching, see you again soon.